Okay, let's do a theorem which says that essentially if the generating sequence, if the generating sequence is non-negative, okay, is a sequence of non-negative terms, then the convergence of a series created by it is its equivalent to its boundedness. In case you have a n, a non-negative sequence, then the series created by it, S n, okay, converges if and only if S n is bounded. It converges if and only if S n is bounded. Okay, now let's try to prove it. And in fact, what happens in this case is that uh, your sum of the series uh, a n uh, will equal to the supremum, supremum of S n, the least upper bound. Now, it's an if and only if statement, so you have uh, two implications. So let's first try to go from uh, series convergence to boundedness. So let's prove that convergence implies boundedness. Do we have to prove anything in this? Yeah, we have already done that. Convergence will imply boundedness. So Sn is, is a sequence of partial sums is bounded. That is sure. Let's try to move from the other way. Okay, so let's try to prove from the other way. So let, let Sn be bounded. Okay, now we have to prove the convergence. Now, Sn is essentially A1 plus A2 plus so on and so forth till An. Okay, what will be Sn plus 1? It will be A1 plus A2 plus so on and so forth till An plus An plus 1. Correct? Okay. Now, we know that these terms are greater than or equal to 0. So, a n plus 1 will also be greater than or equal to 0 for any n, any n greater than or equal to 1, right? So, what will we have? We will have that s n plus 1 will be greater than or equal to s n because there is a positive number which is getting added, okay? There is a positive number which is getting added. So that means this implies that Sn is increasing. It is increasing. It's an increasing sequence. It's an increasing sequence. And what is given to us? That it is also bounded. Now any sequence which is bounded as well as converge uh, as well as uh, increasing monoton and increasing it will be convergent which implies Sn is convergent. Okay which implies that Sn is convergent now. Convergent, in fact, to its supremum. Convergent, in fact, to its supremum. So limit as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity of Sn will essentially be supremum of Sn for all n. Okay, for all n. And that means that sum of the series, okay, a n, essentially supremum of Sn for all n, okay? So essentially in series, if you have terms which are non-negative, then convergence of the series is equivalent to saying that the series will be bounded.